So today we are solving problems about two-way frequency tables. So here's an example two-way frequency table. In it, it shows the results of a survey where we asked kids two questions. Do you have a sibling? Sibling, no sibling. And do you have a pet? Pet, no pet. And remember, that's how a two-way frequency table works, right? You can read it in two different directions. Vertically, and it'll tell us about siblings. Horizontally, it'll tell us about pets. All right, but the three questions we're gonna answer about this two-way table are right over here, and they're very similar. And if you don't read them carefully, they almost seem like the same question. The first one is, what percent of kids have a sibling and a pet? The second question, what percent of kids with siblings have a pet? Third question, what percent of kids with a pet have a sibling? So notice, all of them kind of say similar things. Sibling, pet, sibling, pet, sibling, pet. However, they're different questions because when we calculate percents, we need to know what's the part and what's the whole. In each of these scenarios, the whole is different. I'll show you what I mean. For the first one, what percent of kids have a sibling and a pet? So in this case, we want to know what percent of the kids. That means all of the kids, that's the whole for this percent. In other words, if we look here, we know there were a total of 79 kids surveyed. That's the whole. And the part is of those kids, how many have both a sibling and a pet? And if we look here, sibling, pet, 29. That's our part, okay? Because this is how many kids have a sibling and a pet out of the total number of kids, 79. And if I divide those out, I can get my percent. It's about 36.7%. All right, now, how does that differ from the second question? Let's see. Number two, what percent of kids with siblings have a pet? Now, in this case, we wanna know what percent of kids with siblings. This is the whole. When we're talking about kids with siblings, we're talking about this column right here, all right? And if we're talking about the percent of kid, uh, percent of kids with siblings being the whole, that means we're basing everything out of 51 because there's 51 kids with siblings. So out of those 51 kids with siblings, how many of them have a pet? Well, 29 of them do. So that's what we're going to use to find our percent. 29 out of 51. And I get about 56 point rounds up, 9%. All right, last question. What percent of kids with a pet have a sibling? All right, so again, this is slightly different. What's our whole? Well, we wanna know what percent of kids with a pet so we're basing everything out of kids with pets. And in this case, pets read horizontally. So we're looking at this row this time, okay? And how many total kids have a pet? 46, that's our whole. All right, now out of those 46 kids with a pet, we wanna know how many will have a sibling. Out of those 46 kids, 29 of them have a sibling. So to find the percent, we do 29 divided by 46. And we get approximately 63.0. All right. So notice, when we're solving these, they're all kind of similar, but it all comes down to when we're trying to find a percent, what is the whole? What is the thing that we're basing the whole thing out of? Are we basing our percentage out of the total number of kids? Are we basing it out of the total number of kids with siblings? Or are we basing it out of the total number of kids 
with pets because changing that number changes the whole percentage because we're basing it out of a different number of things. All right, so hopefully that, that helped you. If it did, please hit that like button. Also subscribe because it really helps us out. But with that being said, good luck on your math, and I will see you next time.